Hey guys, got another video to demo another piece of homemade gear that I use in my Pulse Coder live performance setup. So this is a MIDI controller. I designed this MIDI controller specifically to interface with my TR-09 drum machine and it connects via MIDI DIN jack to control it. So I really love the TR-09, it's a great emulation, the sounds are a great emulation of the original uh, uh, 909 machine. The problem is, a lot of people are really critical of, is the incredibly tiny knobs that are on here. They don't make for much of a fun performance and they make it really, really challenging. So the first thing I wanted to do was try to assign some of these knobs because they all are already assigned to MIDI values. Um, uh, to be able to control them with something different. I started experimenting with working with Max MSP and controlling them and I decided that I really wanted some hardware to control them with. So I mapped them to some values uh, on some knobs. And then I took it a little bit further and assigned on off messages for every single one of the notes. So I can control their loudness all by turning them all the way on, all the way off, and I can mix and match them all in real time. So an example, if I play this sequence and I can turn on the kick drum, turn on the snare, turn on the rim and the clap, hi-hat, all this kind of stuff, right? Now what's fun about this is I can very easily mix and match in real time. So, it makes it for a really fun, enjoyable, playable device because you can just, these big arcade buttons, you can just slap them on and off really easy, makes it easy to perform um, um, and a lot of fun to perform as well. So, as well, like I said, I took some of these knob values and assigned them to some different uh, potentiometers over here. So say, for example, I play the tom, the low tom, and I can assign then the tone right here, or the tune right here, going up and down. And as well, say, with the snare, and I've also got the snappy and the tone of the snare as well. Same thing with the kick, I got attack and the K of the kick and the pitch as well. So it's a lot of fun to play with in real time. And then I took a little bit further and found some of the values that I really had to control that are hidden parameters inside of here. So those are types of things like the uh, the tune on the rim or the tune on the clap or the tune on the hi-hat. Those are all assignable, but you have to go a couple steps into the interface here in order to get to them. So it doesn't make it for a very performative device. There's not a knob for it up here. So instead, I took uh, found out those CC values, what those were, those MIDI values, and assigned them to some notes here. Or some knobs here. So I could take something like this rim shot and control the pitch or same thing with the hi-hats and of course the clap as well and pitch that. So what's fun is to play, uh, play with that all in real time. a really nice, inter uh, enjoyable, performative device. It adds a little bit more texture to your sounds to play around with in real time. So as well, while I was at it, I wanted to add a feature onto this that you cannot do with the TR-09 as it is right now. So, and that was to add this one button that would rapid fire MIDI note on messages to specific, uh, specific instruments over here. So an example, I'll stop this and say, for example, if I turn on the rim shot and if I hold this down, and push this, it really quickly rapid fire spits note on messages to the rim shot. So I can also still then control the uh, the pitch as well. So you get these really cool, almost like granular effects that come out of it. So another example, say if I do it with the hi hats. Or with the kick drum. Really cool, fun stuff that you can do, and that can be done with any of the uh, the instruments. And that, of course, can all be done in real time as well. So if I start the sequence and play something, I can... ...have a lot of fun with it that way. So, it makes for a lot of fun instrument uh, to be able to play this uh, as opposed to just the interface on here. I love the sounds on it, but it's really a challenge to be able to perform this thing live. 
this makes it a lot more enjoyable and a, and a lot more versatile of an instrument. So what we have inside of here, I've got a, um, a Teensy microcontroller, which is very similar to your Arduino, um, uh, and some multiplexers. I've got uh, links to uh, both of those in the uh, description of the video if you're interested in finding out. Especially I've also got a link to, uh, to a really helpful tutorial on using the multiplexers. I've also got my code that you can check out and open up and hack and play around with or be inspired by. Uh, these buttons right here are arcade buttons. So what I've done is, uh, these are not illuminated buttons naturally, but I drilled a hole in the bottom and then put a small blue LED inside of there that turns on and off. So it just makes it that much more cool looking. So yeah, um, um, uh, I will have links to that underneath in the uh, description of the video. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.